Ah, Tommy, I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard has called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my card. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. At last, I could eat a horse. Hey, Danzarieri, welcome! Pepe, you don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Pepe. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Dan. Praise it from a gourmet like you always makes me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. 
If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Adana? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> This is ruining my lunch. The girl must have nothing better to do. They could have at least let me taste the wine, Bobbles. Get this over with. <laughs> Throw him his present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out. Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? My ears are ringing from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them. While I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. You weren't so bad yourself, boss. Christ, that was crazy. Thank God Pepe hit. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. We should. Boss, I'd like to know how they knew where we were. Do you think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. Who? Carlo, my bodyguard. That goddamn son of a bitch, he's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was gonna happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. We're going.
Carlo, you bastard! We're coming for you! Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door, bust in there and kill the bastard. <laughs> He's run down the fire escape, Tommy! <laughs> Shut up, lady, or you're next! Kill that bastard, Tom! Alone, please. Don't be an idiot! Shoot the bastard! Don't waste your time with him! He's shit! Oh God! Call the police! Murder! Carlo, you dirty rat! Weren't you well off here with us? What did I do to made you want to do this? You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. It's nothing. First time for me, too. There's a first time for everything. Well, who do we have here? How are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair. And he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing. Real bad. Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. You cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions in this free country of ours. Carry on, boys. What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? Uh, I'm afraid in the current situation bastard. we can't ask him. Burn it and there is nobody else who could tell us what happened. Our guys are dead and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could you please shut up? We're trying to talk here! Go to That's hell! There's no way to talk to Mr. Morello! Bum! God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What shall we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before. Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss! It looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. <laughs>